Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportbikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to do the Woodcraft right-hand side engine crankcase cover install on our 2018 BMW S1000RR STG project bike. Okay, the Woodcraft crankcase cover install on the 2018 BMW S1000 RR. And I do believe, like some of the other parts that we've done from Woodcraft, these fit many model years of the BMW S1000 RR. This is a full cover. This is not just an over cover or a cover protector. So this is going to require, you know, breaking the seal here at the engine. This cover does not use a gasket. Woodcraft, in their instructions, is recommending a sealant in place of the gasket, okay? And they're recommending a semi-drying liquid gasket. So we're gonna use a Permatex product here. There's a lot of things that will get that done. It also makes note of the oil level. Okay, that you may need to tip, the, if you don't want to drain the oil, you may need to tip the motorcycle over to the left side so that you're then reducing the oil level over here on this side. So what I did is I just pulled this little inspection plug real quickly just to get an idea where that oil level did sit to see if that was going to be a problem for me. And you can see here, the oil level is well below the bottom of this cover, so we don't have to have any concern for that at all. Let me go ahead and just throw that back in. Fairing removal. Taking a quick look at this, I think I can get enough access to install this cover without removing the fairing completely. Pull these two fasteners here, these are T20. Torques. And then you come in here, there is a push pin that goes into a rubber grommet. There is one up here as well. Okay, now once I've dislodged that, I kind of lift up on that fairing. Look at that. I now have access to all the bolts on the cover and I didn't remove shit, okay? The Woodcraft covers have optional skid plates. You have to run some type of skid plate. They have double thick colored aluminum or they have the stainless steel. The stainless steel is a harder compound. It's more difficult to wear through if in fact you do have a crash, okay? So that's what we're gonna run with as this is meant to be a track bike. They want you to use a little bit of thread locker here and because Oil is on the other side of these. They supply O-rings for these as well, and they want you to kind of lubricate very lightly one side of that O-ring just to ensure that it doesn't tear. So what I'm gonna do here, and this is just a really, really thin coating, just enough so it kind of slips when you tighten it up instead of grabbing. This is just a little bit of general purpose grease Don't need to be too scientific here. Just get a thin film of that in there. So right now we're just prepping the cover to get it ready for install. And set that on there, like so. Got a little bit of medium thread locker here. Try to be really careful with the amount that I put on there. You don't want to get that all over the O-ring. That one started. Thank you. 
it's December here in Michigan, right? We're getting ready for that holiday season and I get to spend my night fixing Christmas lights on a pre-lit Christmas tree again. I discovered over the weekend that I have a deep love for Christmas tree light repair. So much fun pulling and testing all the bulbs and replacing all the burnout ones. What a joy. Looking forward to getting home and doing that again tonight, I gotta tell you. Just nice even torque here. There's no torque spec for this. This is a three mil internal hex. I'm just using a T handle. More than anything, you just wanna make sure they're tight and they're even. A little thread locker there on the surface of the cover. Wipe that clean, okay? Now we're ready to remove the OE cover. All of the OE bolts <clears throat> that hold this on, they are aluminum. They are intended for a one-time only use, kind of unique there. I still recommend saving the hardware. You never know what else you could use these for. You know, OE stuff is pretty nice. While I respect their aluminum, it's still hard to understand that these would be a one-time only use. As with all the other Woodcraft products, this engine cover comes with a detailed set of instructions printed off and included in the box. There's a photo included as well. Woodcraft may have the best instructions in the industry. They really put a lot of effort into the detail included in each instruction set, every product. Okay. Dislodge that. Yeah, whatever they put that on the factory with, that's got a pretty good hold on it. here. There we go. Let's see if there's something over here I can get a hold of. Yep, there's another one right here. Okay, that was a Bit of a process to break that loose. There's some dowels that are gonna come with this. Okay, make sure that stays there. This dowel here, get that out of that cover. Like so. <clears throat> okay, now we need to clean the surface. Just kind of peel any of the excess away. Looks like most of it really went with the cover at the end of the day. Excess here. 
you want to be cognizant of uh, the fact that you know you don't want this really inside the motor okay so everything you do you want to try to keep it away really isn't a whole lot on here Realistically, to get most of this off, all you need is a, a good shop rag and some brake clean. There's really not a lot of heavy buildup. You can see it, just a shop rag here and that brake clean pretty much just wipes it right off. I'll do that all the way around the uh, engine case here and I'll be ready to install the cover. Okay, the engine case is clean, right? Before I go ahead and put the sealant on it, I just want to get this mocked up. I want to slide everything in place, make sure it all sits flush, we're all good, right before I have this thing all lathered up. That fits really, really good. Everything looks great. So now we'll pull it back off. And the tolerance is on this bike. This is a little different than you know, the Japanese stuff that I've worked on, not that those aren't really advanced, but boy, the tolerances on this BMW, they're just a little bit different. Okay, I don't have any oil on the surfaces where the gasket material is gonna go. <clears throat> and now we'll go ahead and just, you don't really need a whole bunch here. Start like this, and then what I'll do is I'll clean this up by hand before I install it. Because you want to make sure that you don't have a bunch of excess here, and that's kind of tough to do. Squeezing it out of the tube. So take your time with this, make sure that you have any of the excess removed. You know, maybe if the tube of sealant you have has a uh, extension on it with a, a tip that can be a little sharper, that'd be helpful. The one I had did not. <clears throat> okay, I've got a good thin, even film. Go ahead and put this in position now, get it over those dowels. I'm gonna clean this up once I have it bolted in place too. Like so, that shit is just nasty. Uh, per the instructions, you're gonna use the 20 mil length fasteners down here without washers. Each of the other five are 25 mil in length and you'll use the supplied washer. I'm not gonna use a torque wrench for this. This is going to be done just with a four mil T-hammer. It would have been nice to have a different 
tube of sealant, but that's what I had to work with, so that's what we used. A little bit of a mess going here. Just get them seated using a crisscross pattern. No real torque yet. You have them all seated and we'll make a couple of passes torque it nice and even once again using some type of a crisscross pattern as you can see when we want to remove that oe cover once this sealant sets up I mean, you can almost take the bolts and just throw them out. Okay, nice and even torque. Now I'm going to get some brake cleaner and a rag. Just go around the edges and clean it up and make it look a little more presentable. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get the fairing back into position. If you're not comfortable doing what I did there with it, you know, just kind of relocating it temporarily, you know, by all means, feel free to just simply remove it. We will be doing a video probably pretty soon here showing fairing removal. Hope you guys through all that. If you're going to keep the OE stuff on it, we also have a set of Armor Bodies race body work here that we'll be installing on this very soon. These are just T20s. Okay, really important now. With the sealant that we put in there, I wanna let that sit for a while, let it harden up, okay? Even though it's only a semi-hardening compound, I wanna let it harden up a little bit. Then we're gonna start the bike, we're gonna run it. We're gonna make sure we don't have any leaks. After your first ride or your first session at the racetrack, when you come back in, I want you to take a look at it. <clears throat> just make sure that everything is a-okay. It never hurts to double check. You know, you did just remove and replace an engine cover that has oil on the other side. Oil coming out of the engine is a very bad situation. So double check, triple check, never hurts. If you have any questions, please leave those in the comment section of this video. I answer all those myself. And I hope you guys see that I'm here to help you get the same result from your projects. We do ours.